And keeping your children safe at school, the Parkland school shooting has uh, safety at the forefront of parents and students' minds. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas has more now on the role that school resource officers play here in our area and how they work to protect your children. For 22 years, school resource officers have been a part of the family here at Glenburn. Today, we spent some time with them to see how their role impacts students. Guarding and guiding the lives of children, any teacher will tell you means taking on many different roles. Officer Daniel Ayers will tell you the same when it comes to school resource officers. We all wear different hats at different times of the day and sometimes multiple hats at the same time. From playing ball with the kids and focusing on positive interaction with police officers at an early age to even disciplinary action when necessary. It's paramount to have officers in school. Principal Jamie Solta says the benefits of a school resource officer are immeasurable. Having that relationship with our SRO as well gives another adult in the building who the kids see as law enforcement who they can go to and report if they have any you know uneasy feelings or they've heard something or they've seen something. The shooting only serves as a reminder to administrators and to heirs about his importance. A scenario he says he's played over in his mind should he ever be in that situation. A fear he says that's not going away. Unfortunately the, the state we live in it's not going to change. People are going to continue to to seek to do violence, to seek to inflict terror on people. That's why he continues to work with teachers and administrators about how to protect themselves and their students. That's their number one goal is the safety of the students. So they should be reevaluating um, their crisis plan, their protection plans, or voicing their concerns with any kind of safety issues they perceive uh, any time they see them. Um, and reevaluating their plans out at, at least monthly. In Roanoke County, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.